Yo, what's up, guys? So, you've probably heard of Monzo, right? That slick, digital bank that's all about making your money life easier. It's pretty popular in the UK, and it's got a lot of people wondering, can I actually use this thing in Nigeria? Well, that's what we're diving into today. Let's get real for a second. Nigeria is a unique place, with its own financial system and challenges. So, can a foreign bank like Monzo really cut it here? That's the million dollar question, and we're about to find out. First things first, Monzo is a UK-based bank. That means it operates under UK regulations and banking systems. Nigeria, on the other hand, has its own set of rules and infrastructure. So, there's definitely a mismatch there. Now, you might be thinking, but Monzo is accepted worldwide, right? Well, kind of. It's part of the MasterCard network, which is widely accepted globally. However, just because your card is accepted doesn't mean you won't face challenges. Let's talk about ATM withdrawals. You might be able to find some ATMs in Nigeria that accept MasterCard, but don't expect a smooth ride. There's a good chance you'll encounter issues like card rejection, incorrect PIN entries, or even swallowed cards. Plus, there's the matter of foreign transaction fees. While Monzo might offer some perks, you'll likely end up paying more than you would with a local Nigerian bank. Online shopping is another story. Some Nigerian online stores might accept MasterCard, but don't hold your breath. There's a good chance you'll run into problems with authorization or currency conversion. And let's not forget about the risk of fraud. Using a foreign card in a country where online security might not be top-notch is a gamble you might not want to take. So, what about using Monzo for everyday transactions, like paying for groceries or transportation? Forget about it. Most places in Nigeria rely on cash, and even if they do accept cards, it's highly unlikely they'll take a foreign one. But wait, there's more. Monzo might have some cool features like budgeting tools and spending analytics. But let's be honest, how useful are those when you're dealing with the realities of Nigerian finance? You're probably more concerned about finding affordable housing, dealing with unstable electricity, and navigating the complex Naira exchange rate. So, to sum it up, while Monzo might be a great option for some people, it's probably not the best choice for most Nigerians. The challenges and limitations outweigh the potential benefits. It's better to stick with a local bank that understands the Nigerian market and can offer you the services you actually need. Now, I know what you're thinking. But what about those people who claim to be using Monzo successfully in Nigeria? Well, they might be a lucky few or they might be dealing with a lot of hassle that they're not telling you about. It's important to weigh the pros and cons carefully before making a decision. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.